Assalamu alaikum. The A to T plasty is a special technique that is used in facial reconstruction surgery when the defect lies close or adjacent to an important uh, anatomical line and minimal distortion to this line is required. With a circular, triangular, or square defect in an area where there is abundant adjacent uh, elastic tissues, one can have no difficulty in designing a flap that's going to uh, fill up this defect, either an advancement flap or a rotation flap. The flap would close with no much difficulty, and the final closure would be with two limbs, giving a shape of an L, and sometimes termed an O to an L uh, reconstruction or an L plasty. There would be a situations, however, when it is crucial that no tension at all would be applied to one side of the defect. Uh, the side of the defect that lies uh, close to an important anatomical landmark, and it is important to have this line not distorted, the horizontal bar of the T, if you can see it. Uh, in that situation, you would consider having the O to T or an A to T type of reconstruction. When you use uh, tissues from both sides of the defect, advance them or rotate them uh, over the minimally distorted bar of the T and have two small parallel triangles on either side of the horizontal bar of the T and would that would give you the A to T or the O to T uh, type of reconstruction. The A to T plasty is best applied to a triangular defect or a, a defect that can be made into a triangle. Like if you have a circular lesion or a circular defect, you can draw a triangle around it with its height twice the diameter of the defect. If this uh, diameter is a D, this should be two Ds, and the base of the triangle would be one D. The angles at the base are equal, and each is about 75 degrees, so that you would have an angle at the apex of 30 degrees that can be closed primarily with no much tension. To avoid the formation of dog ears, you need two barrows triangles on the other side of the horizontal bar of the T, the base of this equilateral triangle is half a D. So again, half the diameter of the defect will form the base of two equilateral triangles here. And when this triangular defect is created, these two flaps from either side of the defect would meet in the midline here with minimal distortion to the important horizontal bar of the T. So this is to demonstrate the simple technique. You have um, transformed the circular defect into a triangular design, and you have the two small barrows triangles at the two ends of the horizontal line. Uh, and once these barrows triangles are removed, it will be easier to uh, mobilize the flaps from either side of the defect to meet in the midline in a vertical line perpendicular to the horizontal uh, line that you want to preserve. So that's the uh, lesion removed and you have now this triangular defect left. And now the two advancement or rotation flaps can easily be mobilized from the two sides to meet in the midline. And what you need now is to close these two barrows triangles. And as you can see, there is minimal distortion to the horizontal bar of the T. With the well-designed dimensions and angles of the triangular defect, there should be no much tension in closing the vertical and most of the horizontal bars of the T. And this vertical shaft can be closed either by interrupted sutures or subcuticular 
uh, suture and the same applies for most of the horizontal part there would be three points that requires extra attention and care the point in the middle where there are three flaps meeting and you need to have a subcuticular um, three-point junction suture and the two points at the ends of the horizontal bar where you have an angle stitch a corner suture will be used to close the two points at uh, either ends of the horizontal bar of the T where the barrel triangles meets the flaps. This is basically a half buried horizontal mattress suture where you pass the needle into the wider flap through the skin, but avoid doing this in the angled flap. You just pass the needle and the thread and the subcutaneous tissues away from the actual tip of the angle return back to the wider flap and once you that you tie the knot you have brought the tip of the angle flap in good approximation to the larger flap and you have avoided compromising the blood supply but in the middle of the t where the horizontal and the vertical bars meet, you need a three-point uh, junction suture because you have three points here. And the idea here is to have a subcuticular suture just away from the tip of the three angled flat points with an absorbable um, suture on a cutting needle in the subcuticular plan to avoid compromising the blood supply of the tip of the triangular flaps and then the knot is tied and tensed in two directions and this will bring about the three points in good approximation. The horizontal bar of the T does not have to be always a straight line. It can be convex upwards like in the first example or concave like in the second. In the first example, this is a triangular defect just adjacent to the upper lip and the flaps will be created by extending the horizontal line of the T along the upper lip margin and by this you've created two flaps on either side of the defect that can be mobilized to meet in the midline with minimal distortion to the line of the lip that's the whole idea to keep this horizontal bar of the T as uh, minimally distorted as possible and the other example you would have um, a supra tip lesion and a supra tip defect and now you have this concave line for the horizontal bar of the T and two flaps from either side of the defect that can be uh, brought to meet in the midline so you have a T plus T with a horizontal bar that is a bit curved. By this we come to the end of this short presentation on the O to T or the A to T type of plasty and facial reconstruction. Assalamu alaikum.